Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about this whole messy situation, honey, that's going on with Kamora Lee Simmons and ja- and, <laughs> and Jaiman Hansu. okay? I used to butcher his name. I used to call him Digimon, but the D is silent. It's Jaiman Hansu. I'm going to try. You know what I'm saying? I'm, not, I'm good for butchering the name, but yeah. Anyhow, what's going down is this. So, um... Jaiman um, basically showed cracks in this whole co-parenting foundation with Kamora Lee Simmons on Father's Day. So what happened was Father's Day of this year, Jaiman posted a picture of him and his son Kenzo with Kamora Lee. He wrote on there, hashtag happy Father's Day to all the fathers, hashtag KLH, okay? So that is what he wrote. So everybody thought everything was cool. He's spending time with his son. Hey, black fathers, black sons, black boy joy. Hey, but that wasn't what the fuck was happening, okay? So what was going down is this. Um, literally the next day, messy ass TMZ. I'm sure they got a tip. They just happened to run into Jimin as he was going into some, you know, building. And so they were talking to him and saying, oh, well, how was your father's day with your son? You know, did y'all have a good time? We seen the post on Instagram. And Jaiman surprised the world by saying that he hasn't seen his son in forever. So, which was crazy because he just posted literally a post, you know, the day before saying that he had seen him and they were spending time together. Happy Father's Day, whatever. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this quick video from TMZ. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. How was your fire day? Excuse me, excuse me. How was your fire day? It would have been nice to see my son for Father's Day. It would have also been nice uh, if I could see him to at least talk to him, right? When, when, like that, all fathers, right? when was the last time that you saw your kid? I can't even recall myself. How about that? I hope you get to see your kid uh, very soon. Thank Come you. Okay. Thank you. Take care. The custody battle. Listen, bro, it's no custody battle. I'm not, at the, you know, I'm not, you know, in your, in your uh, a lawyer's office. Am I? Are you? Are you gonna file for uh, custody? Would, would you like to send any message to Kimora? Would you like to send a message to her? All right, so you guys just saw what Jaiman had to say to TMZ. And so the whole situation is crazy. As we all know, Kamora and Jaiman, they had dated for five years between the years of 2007 to 2012. Um, basically, they ended up breaking up after crazy, you know, author Cola Booth came out and said that Kimora Lee Simmons stole Jaiman from her while she was suffering from brain cancer. Up until then, we thought they were husband and wife, only to find out they weren't technically married. They were only married in an African spiritual ceremony, okay? So they've been broken up ever since then. Kamora Lee got a whole new baby daddy, a whole new baby. I think her, her youngest son is like now five. Cute little boy named Wolf, okay? So she's always had this persona that she gets along with all three of her baby's fathers. They're like this, you know, kumbaya, co-parenting goals. You know what I'm saying? But now, as of yesterday, uh, Jaiman Hansu basically went to court and he's filing for not only joint custody, He's also falling for damn child support, okay? This entire situation is crazy. Kamora Lee supposedly scared that he's going to take the child back to Africa. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So it's saying right here, Jaiman Hansu and Kamora Lee Simmons are now locked in a bitter custody fight. He made the latest move by asking a judge for joint custody. And her side says that he threatened to move their 10-year-old to Africa. It's been a bitter fight that has not bubbled over. As we reported, Jaiman complained bitterly on Father's Day that Kamora Lee wouldn't let him see their 10-year-old son, Kenzo. He strongly insinuated that she was regularly keeping the child away from him, but she has maintained that he was an absent father who really wanted to see the boy. Our Kamora sources claim that Jaiman has threatened to take Kenzo to Africa and never bring him back. Russell Simmons, who was once married to Kimora and is still close to her, tells TMZ a few days ago he told Jaiman that he would take the boy for a visit if he would sign a document promising not to take Kenzo to Africa, but Jaiman refused to sign it. Kimora Lee got served on Friday with Jaiman's joint custody petition, 
Russell tells TMZ that Jimin is not asking for joint custody, but child support. Russell claims that Jimin himself hasn't even paid her support. TMZ saying that they don't know if a court even ordered him to do so. They also reached out to Jimin's rep, but so far, no word, okay? So this entire situation is really crazy. Why Russell Simmons is speaking on this, I don't know. I understand he's close to his ex-wife. But Russell, you have bigger fish to fry, okay? I'm gonna need you to chill out there in Bali and in self-opposed exile, mind your damn business, until you're ready to face these damn rape allegations here in the States. I, I don't wanna hear your opinion on this situation. I only wanna hear from the two parties involved, okay? Okay. Thank you, Russell. God bless you and good night, okay? Mind your own business. You got enough shit on your plate. Anyways, back to Jaimin and Kimora Lee. So after this story went viral, in true Kimora Lee fashion, she decided to do a poll, okay? So on her poll, she says, niggas is bitches now, huh? You can click hell yeah or no. I'm assuming hell yeah might have been the overwhelming response. I don't know. But um, yeah, the whole situation is really messy. You know, um, I find this very interesting, because like I said, for years, people swerping down the Kimora Lee situation as goals. And I've always said that this was just a regular smuggler girl who had a baby by three different guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, all rich guys. People would be like, oh, she's a gold digger. She's this and that. But because it's Kimora Lee, it's cute. But my thing is this, okay? I don't understand why Jaiman is just now fighting for custody. If she's been keeping your child away from you and now allowing you to see your child, it shouldn't take you know, TMZ and this whole situation back in June to force your hand. I think he should have been fighting to go get, you know, joint custody of that child. Now, if he wants to take the baby to Africa to go visit his side of the family, there's nothing wrong with that. There's pictures of Kenzo and Jaiman in Africa prior. But now as far as taking him there and saying that you don't want to bring him back or, you know, not wanting to bring him back, that's not fair because all he knows here is his life in America with his mom. You know, I do feel like there needs to be a custody order in place. Both parents should have just as much time with him. You know what I'm saying? One parent is not better than the other. But the fact that he's also, you know, trying to apply for child support is very interesting, especially, you know, per, you know, messy mushmouth Russ. Um, he's never paid child support. So if you yourself has never paid child support and Kamora Lee didn't come for you for child support, then why turn around and try and get her for child support? You know, and I understand you want the child's lifestyle with you to be just as comfortable as it is with its mother because women do that all the time. But... I just find it more spiteful, especially she never went after him for child support. Now, she went after him for child support, then it makes sense what's good for the goose is good for the gander. But being that even TMZ can't find a child support order that was ever placed on Jaiman, that to me is kind of shady. That to me comes off as spiteful. If you want joint custody, get joint custody, okay? You've made enough money, you know, starring in Amistad and, you know, a whole host of movies where you, you can comfortably take care of your child. Let's not act like you're the fry cook at Bojangles. You're an actor. You're still getting work. So, you know, I think him trying to touch Kimora's money, that's kind of shady, but the whole situation is just really sad. You know, hopefully they'll be able to figure it out. Because at the end of the day, you know, hater or lover, regardless if you like Kamora or don't like her, whatever, I will say she's a damn good mother. I would never take that from Kamora Lee. She can have 10 kids by 10 different dudes. One thing about her is that she's raising well-rounded children. I believe Kenzel speaks several different languages. We all know Miss Aoki. She recently got into Harvard. You know, so she's really worked with those girls. And Ming is like now a buddy model, very beautiful girl. Um, Little Wolfie is just doing his thing. You know, he's a baby still. He's still young. He's like five. But she's a damn good mother. You know, so I mean, it's not like the boy's in danger or, you know, he's being mistreated. She treats all of those kids fairly. I mean, when you see her interact with her children, it's a really beautiful thing. And the fact that, you know, initially all her ex-husbands and baby daddies got along was a really good thing. But now it seems to be a lot of cracks in the foundation. I hope that they're eventually able to work it out. 
But I do feel like he's being petty asking for child support. Not petty on the, you know, custody. Because if he wants joint custody of his child, you know, he should be able to get that as a father. As long as he's a good father and he's fit, I see nothing wrong with it. But the whole child support, that's just being really, really petty. So I understand her anger. You know, a lot of people are mad that she used the N-word. But hell, your favorite rappers use the N-word all the damn time. And y'all bob y'all's head and shake y'all asses. So miss me with the bullshit. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Kimora Lee Simmons um I don't know why she still uses that last name when she's had two other baby daddies okay um but anyway <laughs> let me know your thoughts on this entire situation do you feel like you know Jaimon is being very very petty by asking for child support or do you feel like you know what it is what it is and then do you agree with me that he should get joint custody should be fair you know 50 50 but you know, I also have to question why it's taken this long. If she's been playing games with the child and not allowing him to see his child, he should have been went to court, period, point blank. When women start playing games with y'all's kids, and if you really want to be in that child's life, you're going to nip that shit in the bud. You're not going to let years, months, whatever go by. He literally said in that interview with TMZ, I don't know the last time I seen my son. That's not a healthy relationship. If you don't know the last time you seen your child, that's insane. But you have so many men who do that, and then all of a sudden they're the victims. No, if you're not seeing your child, and it's been a month or two months since you've last seen your child, obviously it's been years if he's saying he doesn't even know. So if it's been, you know, a month or two and you've not seen your child, at that point he should have ran to court. So this entire situation, like I said, it's crazy. It's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. But Russell Simmons, we don't need any comments from the peanut gallery, so you got enough shit on your plate. Worry about them apples, okay, sir? Thank you. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.